Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm an artist. Welcome to my studio and also my YouTube channel. And it's Tuesday today, so that means it's testing Tuesday. And today I'm going to test out something a little bit different. Recently I've been starting to, to draw on toned paper. So I've been using things like Bic pens and uh, the black jelly roll pens. And then for the highlights, I've been using these new white pens that I've found. So there's quite a few out there on the market. Some of them are paint markers, some of them are ballpoint pens. So I thought I'd try out a, a good few for you. So I've got about five there, different of all different types. So we see which ones perform best on this test. Okay, so here's the five pens that I've got in store for us to check today. If I go through them, Jelly Roll, Sakura, and then I've got this Uni, Posca, the Graphic, and that's from Derwent, Uni Paint Marker, that's a wider tip marker, and then the Edding. Now these ones here, they're all kind of like paint markers that you've got to shake. So they are more like a paint, and this Jelly Roll is pretty much what I've found online to be the most popular rollerball white pen. So that's really the only pen, these are markers. I'm using two different types of paper. I've got the Strathmore Art again. That's a real good quality, real dark black paper. That's great for things like pastels, charcoal. And then I've got this much cheaper black paper. You can see it's nowhere near as dark. And that's by Frisk. Now I'm using two papers because they do feel much different. So let's have a little go first with a jelly roll. Just an almost standard writing. So I'm not going slow or anything at all with that. It's nice and white. Let's try it on this paper too. Yep, that's fine. That's nice. Let's have a look at this Uni Posca. Now I've I've shaken all these pens and I've pumped them. Usually you've got to push them down and go up and down a few times to get the, the ink or the paint to start to flow. So I'll do, do this one too. Feels very similar to the Jelly Roll. Now some of these are meant more for, I think, things like glass rather than paper, but I thought I'd give them all a go. The Derwent graphic. So that one, as you can see, doesn't seem as opaque as the others. I'll use the editing. Sounds a little bit, you can hear the metal ball inside of that. Doesn't sound like there's a lot of paint in there, but I'm not sure. I've only just recently purchased it. Let's just make sure he's loaded. Because this can be a bit strange, and you'll see why now. It seems to be white when it's coming out and then it disappears and sinks in. Not so much sinking in on that, or is it just because this paper is much more black? The Uni Paint marker, now you can get this in a fine tip, but I, I couldn't see one in my local store, so I've had to get this wide tip. Okay, and that one really, really smells very much like a, a car spray. So let's try this jelly roll out and see what it can do. So if I'm going up fairly straight in an even flow, and this is what I've been using in my drawings lately. You can do cross hatch. Fill in with it. It is quite popular. So that's nice. It's nice and opaque white. Let's try the Posca again. I 
need to pump him a bit. Paint seems to have uh, stopped. A little bit of a wider markets making, I'd say. So that's pretty good too. Very similar to the jelly roll. Slight smell to it. Right, the graphic. Do went. You know these these graphic pens seem to be really good. The only problem I'm getting with the white, now I don't know if I've got a defective pen or something, is get a bit of tissue. On the end is prone to leak in a bit. And I've gone online and I've seen that you can pull this section out, clean it, put it back in. But I'm still finding it can leak a little bit and you get some paint around that edge. Right, that's flowing fine. It's a real nice pen to feel, flows well, easily. Nice fine line. All these pens have got this habit of obviously there's a bit more paint or ink on the end part where you're holding it a little bit. If you lift up when you're doing that, it, it doesn't appear. You've got to consciously lift the pen off then. So this pen this do went is really nice as long as you keep an eye can you see that starting now the ink the paint is coming out there see it now if you've been spending hours on a drawing days weeks and you're putting in the highlight at the end and you get a blob of white paint on it that's it done so I won't be too impressed with that but this may be Maybe a defective one because the others in the pack don't seem to be doing it. But typically, it's the white that I was most interested in. Okay, the Edding one. Really strange. Disappearing marker, they should have called it, I think. Let's just make, let's just make sure there's plenty of paint, ink, whatever you want to call it, coming out. Right, no more than that's going to come out. And there it goes, disappearing as I'm doing it again really strange not suited to paper by the seam of it and the uni paint this as well doesn't seem to be suited to paper perhaps it's more suited to things like glass and once I've done that now I'm just going to quickly do it on this cheaper paper as well just so we've got that on there uni the edding doesn't seem to disappear as much on this paper it's not great though for sure graphic nice pen flowing well And these pens can be quite a few pound each as well. So it's worth knowing what's going to be good, what's worth you spending your money on, and what's not. And finally the jelly roll. So there you can see them on both different types of paper. Okay, as I mentioned, some of these seem to want to be used more on a um, shiny surface. So this should test it a little bit. Just get that pretty centered. Okay, so let's just see what they do on here. And what I'll do, I think I'll zoom in a section on there. And I'll just write them up by here to, to try them out. So here's a jelly. Okay, that one doesn't want to go on there. So that's really suited to the paper. That's a jelly roll. 
So I've got a Posca. I expect these will perform better on you now. Yeah, that's really nice. So different things are suited for different substrates and surfaces. Derwent. Derwent graphic. Edin. This will be interesting. This is a disappearing ink. So yeah, you know, it, this is for glass, metal and plastic, but I wanted to try it alongside the others on paper, just to see, because you never know how these are going to perform. This is the uni paint. This reminds me of one of those um, markers that you can get for on chalkboards. Okay, let's move that out of the way. In fact, what I'll do, I'll turn it over like that. Because some of these are going to be better for glass. So let's have a little look on glass. I don't expect this to work at all, the jelly roll. No. Nope. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. That's for paper. Okay. Let's try this Posca. See what that's like. So that works on glass. Try this Durban graphic. Seems pretty good on glass too, if they dry. Let's get that POS going. Let's uh, fill a little section in with that too. Okay, see then. The adding, I should imagine this will work on you. Let's just make sure he's loaded. This one seems to need to be loaded frequently. And then there's your uni paint. What I'm going to do is just allow those to dry now for a few minutes and we see how they stay on that glass. Okay, so I've dried off this um, white paint with a hairdryer. They all dried at slightly different rates. The slowest was the edding. And in fact, it's even now it's still slightly tacky. I don't know if it's ever going to fully dry. Next was the graphic. That stayed tacky quite a long time. Then the Posca, then the Uni Paint. So the Posca, the Uni Paint is a little bit too, uh, it's not opaque enough for my liking. The Posca, really fine line as well, like that, dried really quick, really nice and opaque, as you can see. So they've all cooled down as well. I'm just going to try and scrape them off with my nail just to see which ones are adhering to the glass the most. So that Uni Paint. That's not coming off at all. The edding. That's, that's on there quite well. I'm rubbing pretty hard. It is coming off because it's, it's still not really rock solid. The graphic. That's coming off. And then the Posca. Unfortunately, that's coming off easily. I suppose you could varnish over that, couldn't you? And, and that would seal them all in, really. Perhaps that's what you need to do. I don't I don't work with glass. It's just something I thought may be of use to somebody. But the uni paint is really on there. But then it's not very raised. It's not that thick. The others I can remove. Okay. So if you're going to paint a draw on something that's 
very glossy jelly roll is no good it's probably not it's not meant for that surface anyway so I'm not surprised Posca I would say and the edding are the best the Posca is probably the best one there if you're using them on paper lots of these are not meant for paper I don't think <laughs> sometimes their websites don't really say what they're for so it's up to you to try they're just saying whether they're oil based or water based for the paper the Posca seems to work well the jelly roll as I thought performs probably the best of the lot plus it's, it is just a pen with white ink in it so you can easily put that in your pocket I've got the whites I also take the blacks around with me as well when I'm going away yeah you can get them in fine lines and a bit thicker I've, I've even wrote fine on there on the top just so that I know so that jelly roll is really easy to use easy to take with you the Posca then is probably going to give you another nice line doesn't seem to be much more opaque really than the jelly roll and then the opacity goes down quite substantially then with the graphic the editing doesn't work on paper the uni paint's not really for paper either so out of today's test I'd say jelly roll and the Posca really perform the best well according if you want to specifically work in glass and then it may be worth looking at the uni paint which also comes in those fine lines a finer tip as well there are lots of other pen type white whites out there similar to the jelly roll but from every review I've seen the jelly roll really comes out on top so I didn't see the point in duplicating those tests so hope you've enjoyed that and hope you found it of use hope you've enjoyed this short video if so you may like to go over to my website jasonmorgan.co.uk there I've got lots of full length feature videos on techniques and tips I've got ebooks I've got 800 reference photos all with the new easy trace line art and so much more so that's jasonmorgan.co.uk also on YouTube every Friday I've got free photo Friday every Thursday I'm doing art book reviews and every Tuesday it's tips and also art product reviews so don't forget to come back soon.